Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie. If you have any personal questions and you need a personal reading, then you can book me at my website katietarot.com. Okay, so Virgo, let's see what energies need to come through for you this week. And the dates are the 20th through the 26th of November 2017. And this reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Virgo, what is happening with you guys this week? Virgo. What? Okay. Monday, Tuesday's energies. Three of Cups. Pretty good social network going on, Virgo. So if this is a work thing, lots of collaboration, there's a people involved, okay? So other people, whether it's more of a social thing, our social gatherings, you know, getting together with people after work that you're friendly with, that sort of thing. There's a focus on this. There's also a focus on your love life. So this week, things are looking like they might be going well. Let me just have a look here. We've got the two of wands. So you are envisioning what you want for the future and you're going to go out and try and get this. In terms of your love life, that goes for your love life as well. So you are, you know, you know what you want to improve in your relationship and you want to go and do that. Or you want to, you know, who you want to go and date and you, you're going to go ask them or you're going to go and um, pursue them in some way. Um, there's also an element here of your work coming in. So if you're after a job or if you're wanting to look at increasing some kind of uh, f your finances, then this is looking promising. You have the vision, you know what you want, and that means you can go out and get it. And it's going to happen through your networks. It's going to happen through the people that you know more, more, more often than not. Okay, so you're going to have, with this card here, it means that you're going to have connections that are going to assist you in getting that job or assist you in um, finding that person that you want to have a relationship with so mutual friends and things like that so that's coming into play here this week for you as well Virgo Queen of Swords so this could be a person a woman or a man that embodies this energy it could be you personally embodying this energy on these days of the week Virgo so you're very much in tune with who you are you're not afraid to speak your truth you know you have been um hurt in the past to do with emotional things to do with work things maybe you've been overlooked for something or you have had unrequited love there's something going on here like that um, even though you've had these disappointments and setback Virgo you are strong okay you're strong and you're able to hold your own you're able to continue on in a really um, positive manner regardless of what's happened to you but you know it, other people are really going to be that they, they will listen to your stories if you begin to talk to them about your past and things that you have been through they're going to listen to you and you're going to be able to help other people with your the knowledge that you have gained and the peace of mind that you have um that you have at the moment with regard to your situation okay and we have the two of pentacles So, you know, we have all of the suits here. So this week is a multifactorial kind of energy coming in because we've got the pentacles meaning things, choices as well. We've got two twos. So there is a choice that may have to be made. I feel for some of you going to be put in a social situation, whether it's to do with a professional situation or a um, personal situation where you'll have to make a decision about something and it's going to have longer term consequences I'm not talking talking you know years down the track but you know for the foreseeable future it will do so if you're coming up against some kind of choice this week if you find this energy coming in Virgo um, trust your intuition trust your gut on this I feel that your intellect and your mind's going to come into play a lot but also connect in with your intuition that's very important not just your mind and then you're going to make the right choice and it'll go forward and it'll be very positive for everyone involved this could be contracts that to do with work and other people or if you're starting your own business or you have your own entrepreneurial type of work that you are doing um, there might be people that are interested in buying a portion of your business or coming in and offering you something of value. Um, it might be a big purchase that they are making off you or something like that. And so um, you're going to have to use your business skill as well as um, 
maintain your own sense of what's fair and all of that. So looks like it's going to be a promising week this week. Let's have a look midweek. We have the star. Well, that's even better. That's a beautiful healing energy. And that ties into what I was saying about you in the past, Virgo. You've had past hurts and pains and disappointments in regard to this area of your life. Um, other people are going to see you as a shining light. They really are. They're going to see you as someone that they are able to go to and talk to about their problems because you have been through these issues in the past yourself. Um, there's also a feeling here of uh, being able to attain and reach your goals and being very positive and connected to that goal. Um, so whatever this is you're going for, whatever choice this is you, you're making, it looks like it's going to be the right one, Virgo. Okay. We have the Prince of Swords, so the, the Knight of Swords. Uh, you're going to want to kind of rush in, but you know, you're very sure of yourself in terms of your business mind or your mind to do, you've made up your mind about something. Okay, Virgo. Now, you, you do want to be very practical about this and very grounded about it. And I'm sure that you will because you're very good at um, planning and you're very good at um, rationalizing things and being grounded in that. So there is a sense here that you, in this matter, you're going to want to rush, going to want to rush ahead so if this is a relationship for you you're going to want to take things to the next level sooner than maybe the other person would like or sooner than is really appropriate for the type of relationship that it is so just keep yourself in check which I'm sure you will but spirit is just bringing this through as a reminder for you to be patient because the time will come when it's right but you need to just tap into your knowledge and your intuition and know that it's um, the right time before proceeding because you do have the knowledge here gosh you are really in such a clear mind space this week aren't you Virgo that's wonderful so whatever it is you want to get done you're going to go and do it and you're going to achieve a, a very high, highly skilled at what you do this week we have the nine of wands and this speaks into the past hurts and the disappointments you have stood your ground and that means you're going to achieve what you want because you haven't given up um, you know, you have been very particular about things and you're very good at this Virgo as well. You're very um, particular and very focused on what you want and you haven't given up. So that means you're going to achieve what you want. And with the eight of wands here, you know, this means that it's going to come to you sooner rather than later. There's also a, a frenzy kind of energy here as well. So things are going to want to rush ahead. And I feel it for some of you, this is related to relationships. So if you're wanting to move ahead with a partner in a fast way, just maybe hold back this week and then carry on next week. Just kind of, um, or if you don't want to do that, just be aware of the consequences of your actions. And I'm sure that you will. You know, you, you are in a good headspace anyway. So I feel very positive energy about this. And coming into the weekend, we have the Four of Wands. And this is about foundations and balance. So this, whatever this change is going to be, even though it's a bit of a frenzied energy midweek, it's going to really even itself out. By the weekend, you're going to be in a really secure spot. This could also be passion as well. So I'm sensing for some of you, you might actually hook up with someone and have a lot of passionate... Uh, time with them um, or you might have a fling with someone and and you have that passion involved and then you'll kind of go into the weekend feeling very satisfied also you're feeling like you are making progress in the relationship if you if that's what you want okay the world so very very satisfied and very happy with how this week transpired um, other people are going to be involved in this uh, decision that you're making so just um, yeah, and I feel that your energy is very on point, very on point this week. So looking like a really good week, the high priestess. So this is about being in touch with your intuition. And that's what I was sensing here, even though you are very clear in the mind. Um, and that is a good, wonderful tool that you're going to be using this week, Virgo. Um, just keep in check with your intuition, with everything. And we have the princess of pentacles, the page of pentacles. And this is all about um, being able to um, see and have the mind space clear enough, which you do, I can see you definitely do, um, of the new possibility going forward, a newness coming in, this new relationship, this new job, this new money, this new income, this raise, 
um, this new business venture, this new collaboration, whatever this is that's going to come about by the end of the week by the looks of a Virgo. Very promising. Now the advice card is justice, okay? <clears throat> so Virgo, you could be dealing with a Libra here. They could be coming into the situation. There's also a feeling here of maintaining a balance and this is what I've been saying all through the reading. Uh, your intuition, maintain that as well as being in your mind and thinking very logically about things and thinking like you um, have a clear headspace. So have a clear headspace but touch in with yourself as well and make sure that you are on track with your own um, intuitive self as well as what your thoughts are saying. So that is reading for the week, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye for now.